Good afternoon, I'm Dr. Debbie, founder of A Wise Woman's Guide, and today we're going to talk about what men won't say that women need to know. You know, men don't use a lot of words, but they do communicate constantly. The problem is that we often think we know what their behavior means, and we miss the mark completely. One of those things that we miss the mark on is whether or not a man is even feeling anything at all. The reason that we can't really tell is because he's really been trained not to show his emotions. That's the number one rule of being a man is don't be weak. So he's going to hide his emotions. He's going to avoid talking about them. He's going to do everything possible to solve a problem without addressing emotional material. It's just one of those things that happens. And the reason it does is from a very young age, he got shamed for having vulnerable feelings. And that doesn't change when he grows up. You know, as, as a man, he still carries this huge fear that he will be shamed if he expresses his vulnerability. So he keeps it inside. And instead of processing it and dwelling on it, he looks for a solution. Now, when he pulls away, and he's inside processing within himself, you can get the impression that he didn't hear you, that he's not listening, that he doesn't care, that he doesn't even feel anything. And nothing could be further from the truth. Every man feels intensely. It's just the expression of those emotions that is a problem. And you're gonna hear me talk about this over and over again because it's like the number one thing we need to understand about the men in our lives, whether they're, you know, newborns or they're, you know, your great grandpa, it doesn't matter. Those feelings are right there. They're on the forefront, but they have been shamed out of expressing those emotions. So when we come along and we want to have a conversation with a man and we want to know what he's thinking and feeling, he's not going to share that with you. Instead, he's going to share with you what he does with himself. He's going to give you a solution. And when he tries to give you a solution, how do you end up feeling? Often we feel, as women, we feel dismissed. We feel discounted. We feel like he's being condescending. Even I've heard that one a lot. But we don't really respond to his problem solving in the way he would like for us to. But that's how he's gotten through life, is he has avoided talking about his emotions and he's looked, gone straight for solutions. So he's going to share that with you as well. And it can be very, very frustrating and it can make you feel very disconnected. And again, it can make it feel like he's really talking down to you when what he's doing is he's giving you his own solution for emotions. And most often that happens when you're being emotional. So when you're rolling along and you're feeling, you know, angry, sad, hurt, um, afraid, all of those things or even guilty or ashamed, any kind of vulnerability that you express, he's going to avoid talking about it. He's going to avoid dwelling in it. He's going to look for a solution and then he can end up feeling like, you know, he's just trying to fix you or he's just trying to shut you up. And the truth is, again, he is taking what he uses as his own strategy and he's offering it to you. Because from his point of view, you don't seem to understand how to reason your way through anything. Now, we know that's not true, ladies. We know that we are very good at solving problems. What we're looking for is we're looking for someone to just listen to us and care about how we're feeling and even to validate our feelings. So when you're doing that, you can get yourself into trouble when you're talking to the man you love because he doesn't approach emotions at all like you do, okay? So that's the first one is that even though he's very quiet, even though he doesn't talk about his feelings, trust me, ladies, he has feelings, very deep ones.